So I actually had a couple of other videos that I had planned to film this weekend and I just can't film any of them today <laughs> because I only want to talk about one thing which isn't that different than what I normally want to talk about but like it's a little different and I just I just had to had to film this video and I had to do it in this exact outfit <laughs> because so last year on October 31st I filmed a video in this exact giraffe costume um talking about Wujin of Stray Kids leaving and also Wono of Monster X leaving but anyways so I filmed a video of me crying in this giraffe costume and ever since then I and I, I did I was wearing this costume because it was Halloween and at my work my boss loves Halloween it's her favorite holiday so we all had to dress up for Halloween it's a thing at my work we all dress up every single year and that last year I just decided to get a onesie which was a really bad idea because it was super hot that day but anyways I digress I filmed a video of me sweating in this giraffe costume in my car during my lunch break on Halloween because I had woken up to news of Wano leaving Monsta X. So ever since then, I've had this giraffe costume sitting in my closet <laughs> and I decided pretty recently, I was like, when Wano's name is cleared, I will film a video in this giraffe costume because I need some like good memories with this because I had just gotten it for last Halloween and I just, yeah. So yesterday I, I don't even know where to start with this story, to be honest. I have been on a Twitter hiatus for probably like two weeks now, maybe a little less than two weeks, I don't know. And it's because I just have had so much happen since October 31st, since that day that has really just like, I don't know, just like not been great. Like, like obviously things in K-pop have not been great. And then I hurt myself and that really like, put a huge, a huge damper on my mood and my like mental health and everything. Um, but I wanted to be on Twitter for all about love promotions and then also Wano's birthday. Um, but then once all that was over, I was kind of like, I kind of want to take my Twitter hiatus, just like stop obsessing over this stupid app. It's been four months. All I do is like look at Twitter and think of Twitter and look at all of these like things that are going on. I just like couldn't do it anymore. I couldn't do it. It was unhealthy. I had acknowledged it was unhealthy a long time ago, but was finally doing something about it. So then yesterday I've been on Instagram a lot because I'm like not sure what to do with myself. Also, I'm on spring break this week and the coronavirus has extended my spring break until the end of next week, even though I'm in a completely online program, but like I'm not mad about that extra spring break time. So I'm like not really sure what to do with myself right now. So I have been on Instagram like a lot. Last night on Instagram, there's a couple of accounts that I keep my eyes on. Obviously I keep my eyes on Jungdan and Han Soe before she deactivated her account and Jungdan deactivated her account. I kept my eye on them. I also keep my eye on Eshi's Instagram account because he is, he is Monster X's American manager and he tweets like really cryptic things sometimes and posts really cryptic things on his Instagram. So I don't follow him. I just like keep an eye on him. You know what I mean? So last night he posted this. Oh, I have Baby Gum with me. I felt like Baby Gum should be here for this video. But last night I looked on Eshi's Instagram and he posted this and I was just like, what is happening? Like, what is going on? So I went to Twitter because I was like, I'm supposed to be on hiatus, but like, what is going on? Like, I just need to know what's going on. So I log on to Twitter and on my computer because it's not on my phone. Um, and I'm like looking and I'm seeing that he's like posting other things. And then um, Jeff's posting other things. And there's like a bunch of people posting like really weird cryptic things all of a sudden. And I'm like, oh my God, like what is happening? Like, why did I log on to Twitter? Like, it's literally the same as it was two weeks ago. I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to like, I just like this is why I left like I all this stuff so I'm like getting ready to log off I'm like reading through a couple of accounts checking up on a couple of friends I have on Twitter who I are am not like following on any other social media so just like checking up on a couple of people and <laughs> then this like comes across my timeline of Wano's name being cleared and I'm like like are we just like manifesting are we like 
you know, people just being hopeful. Like I literally looked at it and was like, oh, like what? No. <laughs> and then, and then I started seeing more articles about it and more people, I'm like, my heart's starting to beat so fast and more people talking about it. And then people releasing hashtags like Wano is free. And I'm like, what is happening? Like, what is happening? Like I literally retweeted like seven articles last night without reading a single one of them. And then I like actually went back and was like, maybe I should read this. So Wano was officially cleared of all charges last night. Um, his case never actually went to court. It was dropped by, not dropped by the court, closed by the court because there was nothing there, which like I could have told you four months ago, but you know, I digress. <laughs> Yes, I am here to film this video because last night was not, here's my Instagram story picture from last night, was not in a spot to film this video. Um, was literally sitting in bed with a heart rate of 130, like sitting in my bed, not moving. My resting heart rate is not, it, nobody's resting heart rate should be 130. <laughs> nobody's heart rate sitting in their bed should be 130, but it was, insane because I literally have, like thought the other day I was like or I was thinking yesterday because yesterday was Friday and then it was Saturday in Korea I was like whatever like whatever it's the weekend like nothing happens on the weekend nothing's gonna come out on the weekend so I feel this like sense of like oh, okay like we just gotta wait till Monday now and it's honestly been so long that part of me had given up that anything was gonna happen anytime soon so so that's the first news is that Wano's name is cleared. But like I said, I didn't really like read through these articles. Um, let me, baby gum, you can like hang there for a second. Let me grab my computer because I'm filming on my phone. Just like, <laughs> I don't, I don't even know. Like I went on, you know, I had so many things I wanted to say in this video and now I'm actually filming it and I like can't think of a single word to say. Number one, Wano's name is cleared. Number two, Starship Entertainment helped him clear his name. I want to talk about that. Let's talk about that. And all those articles I retweeted without actually reading first last night, which I eventually read. Don't you worry, I eventually read. I just was like literally shaking and could not comprehend what was happening at all. Like I, like it took, like I went between like bawling my eyes out and like being in shock that this was even real. I woke up this morning and was like, there's no way. Let me find, there's a couple of translations of this statement. So Starship cleared his name. They released the statement um, saying that all of his charges were dropped. He was proven innocent. There was nothing, nothing. Could have told you that four months ago. There is this one um, translation I'm gonna read that says, um, from Starship, it says, during the investigation, Wano actively cooperated with the police and all investigation procedures, including scientific examinations by the investigative agencies, aka Wano was like, you want to test me? Test me. I'm innocent. Just, just stop this. The Seoul Metropolitan Police Agency's Drug Investigation Unit conducted extensive investigative investigations for the past five months, but was unable to find any charges. Finally, on March 10th, three days ago, I want to talk about that too. Um, Wano's internal investigation was concluded. From that part of the statement, Wano had been working with Starship Entertainment and also the, you know, the police station, obviously, to clear his name. Starship really said Wano with their whole mouth for, with their whole chest. They really said Wano with their whole chest. I'm a company that has treated his name like the plague the past four months, really said Wano with their whole chest. Then it continues, it continues. So if you follow me on Twitter, you've probably seen this all eight times by this point, but listen, I don't care. <laughs> um, if I don't make a video about it, like did it even happen? So then Starship says, and this is the translation. I don't wanna read this translation. Let me let me pull up a different one. So they said, um, this isn't like perfect translation, but it it's a pretty, I think it's a more accurate translation from all the ones I've seen. Um, I would like to apologize, or Starship Entertainment said, I would like to apologize once again for the fact that we and Wano have been very worried about our fans. Um, we also thank our domestic and foreign fans for their unwavering support while watching the investigation results. During the investigation, the company has been waiting for a long time, trying its best to minimize media exposure to Wano and to appoint an attorney to prevent any unfair charges. Let's stop there. Starship Entertainment 
removed Wano from everything in an attempt to protect him and not delete him. I'm a little suspicious about that still. To be honest, this is not me saying Starship did a great job because like I I probably have like 8% trust in them right now after this. Like eight, like you just, you know, I still haven't really changed my mind about that company. So they gave him an attorney. They protected him, which you know, an attorney from a big company like Starship that has lots of money, let's be real. Starship's not like a JYP or an SM or even a YG, but they, or Big Hit, but they have a lot more money than Wano as an individual has. That's just, that's just fact. That's just, you know. That is amazing that they gave him an attorney. They protected him. They tried to minimize media exposure, which didn't really work because there was still a lot of like, news videos that showed a lot of OT7 things and then like them blurring him out of things still doesn't really sit right with me like that's where I'm like only 8% trusting them because I still like that hurt releasing OT6 fan chants mm, not really a fan of that either but anyways um the next sentence is the company will provide support to Wano so that he can go the way he wants from now on. Now that sentence I've seen translated about seven different ways, honestly, but what I take from that sentence, Starship Entertainment supported Wano during his investigation. He is freed from all charges. He is a free man now. Starship paid money for an attorney, a good attorney, I'm assuming. And I'm hoping it was a good attorney. <laughs> so they put money into this. They put an investment amount of money into this. I'm thinking that they said, you know, we're not gonna force you to come back, but like, we'd help you out with this. We would like you to come back. That is what I'm saying. It's not fact. My thought is that no matter what Wano wants to do from now on, Starship Entertainment will support that and let him choose his next step from here. Because obviously everybody, myself included, maybe not everybody, like 99.9% .9 of people, want him to come back to Monster X. And I've seen a lot of my like non Mumbai mutuals be like, listen, we can't assume that's what he wants to do. And I get that. And I understand that. My thought on that is I like can't even talk, like literally can't even talk. I don't know about the contract situation. That is like one of the biggest arguments Mumbai have had. It was one of the first arguments we had back when all this went down. The uh, thoughts about Wano's contract have always been a very highly debated topic in the Mon Bebe fandom. Um, is his contract terminated? Was that something made up? Starship never confirmed it. Yes, they did confirm it. I am not here to have that conversation, really. <sighs> but they followed through with what they said. Oh my gosh, do you know how much of a clown I felt the past four months? Literally, on October 30th, Eastern Standard Time, I went to bed saying after Starship released a statement saying that they would protect Wano and fight for him against these like rumors and whatever, I went to bed saying, wow, look at Starship go. And then I woke up to October 31st and all that. And then I woke up November 1st and then I woke up the day after follow promo ended and I woke up every day after that thinking I was so stupid to think that Starship would actually fight for him. But they did. They did. And, and at the end of the day, it would be stupid for them not to. Because think about how much, like even, even if it's like not even like, hey, he's a good guy, he's done a lot for us, like, you know, he's someone we care about, even if none of that is true, the monetary value which is something Starship has proven time and time again that's really like what a lot of K-pop companies care about. Wano's monetary value is pretty intense. There are a lot of people like me who will spend a lot of money to buy anything that has that man's face on it. We have lots of proof of that on this channel. <laughs> um, so there's that. So definitely feeling like Starship's not pressuring anything, but I can definitely see from that sentence they're looking for a kind of return, whether it's a solo artist under their company, him making music for their artists under their company. I'm feeling like that's kind of what Starship wants, 
but I think they're leaving it up to Wano because that's really all you can do in this situation. They can't force him to do anything. So, <laughs> so I am, I'm very happy right now, right in this moment of time. I have not looked at my phone or anything since I started filming this in this exact moment of time. I'm very happy with this situation. If he doesn't want to come back to Monsadex, if that's what he decides, I'm okay with it. I really am. I'm really okay with it. I just want him to be somewhere where I can see him, like either on Instagram or like at the very minimum would love an Instagram account that he posts on every once in a while. And I would be okay with that. I would be okay with that being whatever we get for the rest of time. I would be. If he comes back to Starship Entertainment as a solo artist, either way, I will support his solo debut. Love that. If he comes back to Monster X, obviously that's best case scenario. We would love to see it. I'm not going to be upset if he doesn't. Because how can I? How can I when for four and a half months, all I've wanted is his name cleared. And I always said, once his name is cleared, anything that happens after that is just extra. And we'll be love, we'll be glad to see it. So the fact that we got that, all I need. <laughs> Especially after this week, oh my God. If you live in the United States or like literally anywhere in the world, it's been an awful week, especially in the United States. I feel in like some other countries, like the US is freaking out. You can't get toilet paper literally anywhere. Like everyone's afraid to be near everyone else. It's all people talk about is this virus. And I am just like so overwhelmed with it. And yesterday was a really good day because I went to physical therapy as I do every Friday. And they were like, you're doing really good. Like you're basically almost almost there to like being fully healed back to normal everything and then Wano's name got cleared last night and I just it was just a really I just really needed that day I'm super happy I am back on Twitter now so so if you'd like to follow me I know I have a lot of new subscribers since I made that Wano video so you might not totally understand what this means to me to have him be freed of all charges and have him back but just imagine if this had happened to your ultimate bias to someone who has been with you during one of the toughest times in your life which is something I don't talk about and I'm not going to talk about it here but Wano kind of appeared in my life in no mercy at the perfect time like a time I really really needed him so I know on that that giraffe video, the other video, I have a lot of comments of people like, oh, she's like, I can't believe she's doing this. She's like, you know, why is she so upset about this? Like, it's just, she's never even met this person. Like, this means a lot to me. And I'm super happy. And I knew I had to make a video about it. And I don't even know if this video made any sense. And I probably didn't say half the things I wanted to say. But, and I almost like was like, should we wait to see what Wano says? But I don't think he'll make a decision super soon investigation ended on the 10th and yesterday it when it was announced was the 14th in korea which is white day which is like the opposite of valentine's day where the guy is supposed to give the girl a gift so like that is the most wonderful thing i've ever seen but it just makes me think back to like everything the members have done in the past four months like being supportive of wano merch and being interactive with people showing support with wano as much as they could I just am thinking back to everything and thinking about what's going to happen next. And like I said, I'm I'm very okay with whatever happens next. I was so worried for Mal Sex's upcoming comeback because I didn't think Wano's name would be cleared before it. And I just wasn't sure how I was going to feel about seeing them as six or even as five if Juhan had come back. But I do think, I mean, obviously Juhan can take his time, but I do think Juhan's vocals would have been on the album. I just don't know if he would have done live stages um, and things of that sorts, but that was my theory. I'm interested to see what happens next. And I finally watched that uh, that mirror performance. Oh, I didn't even finish my other sentence. I was worried about seeing them as six or as five and how I was going to handle it. But I think if Warno says, I don't want to come back to Monster X, I will not feel weird about seeing them as six because I'll know that that's what he wanted to do. And that 
is all I want at this point. I just want him to do whatever he wants to do. I just hope that I can see him, but I can't see him doing something where he wouldn't be able to talk to us in some way, which is why I think he'll at least have an Instagram or something. I have no regrets staying in this fandom the past four and a half months, even though it's been really hard. Very happy it's over now. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm very happy it's over now. And I know that's not really over, but it's over. It's over for me. It's I will continue to support all seven members moving forward, whatever happens. I am happy Starship left it up to Wano. I am happy Starship supported Wano and protected him. I actually like tweeted something last night that was like, not a day went by where I didn't talk about Wano to the Starship entertainment employees. And I was like, okay, you can relax. <laughs> You can relax. As she does get some credit because I never would have gone on Twitter and I probably would have seen it like an hour after it happened. And I literally logged on Twitter as it happened. So as she gets credit for that, but still don't love you that much. <laughs> you st and still don't love how Starship treated Monstax the past couple of months. Still don't love all that, but Aang's everything I wanted to say. Baby Gom and I are gonna go, I don't know what I should go do. I don't know what to do with myself. I'm afraid to leave the house. Not like really afraid, but like don't really want to deal with other people. Not for the illness, but just everyone is crazy. And I I guess I should clean, probably. I'm gonna go do that. I watched the mirror stage this morning, the OT7 one from October 31st for the first time this morning. And I cried watching it because everything felt so normal. There's a dog barking. Everything felt so normal. And so, like, nothing had happened. And, yes. I'm gonna go change out of this giraffe suit now. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for listening to me talk about one of the past four months. Thank you for continuing to support him. If you did, I don't know what you do. But, you know, I know a lot of my friends who also make YouTube videos are still, are still very supportive of him. Um, a lot of people still were and we love to see it so yeah looking forward to the future mm -hmm. i'll see you guys very very soon bye